Hello and welcome to FF News' coverage of FinTech Talents here at the brewery right by London's beautiful Barbican. And joining me here today, I have Russ from OCR Labs Global. Russ, how are you doing? I'm great, thank you. Good oh, to be here. It's an absolute pleasure having you behind the bar. And Russ, could you tell our viewers a bit more about yourself, your role at OCR, and what you guys do? Uh, so I'm the general manager of the international business. Uh, we do ID verification, automated platform to help people to do onboarding and KYC within their industries. Absolutely incredible. I mean, I especially know during you know the amount of fines we're seeing currently with AML, um, you need to know your customer more than ever. And I'm sure Absolutely. a lot of institutions here are really excited to get to know you a bit more. So let's do that on camera. And also sure. joining us here today, we have Francesco from Spin and Shake. Francesco, how are you doing? You good? I'm very, very good. How about you guys? Absolutely. Good, good. Amazing. Good. Now I need to get going. Yeah, nice, right. Nice. Let, let us know what, what's the drink we're going to make right, now. Right, so today we're going to do an all-time favorite. Like, pretty much everybody loves this drink, which is going to be the non-alcoholic passion fruit martini for Amazing. you guys. So, we're going to be serving it in our coupe glass, right? Okay. I mean, this is going to be a shaken drink. I mean, we, we get things going in a little bit. So, first thing first, we want to get about 25 mils of our vanilla syrup. So, we're going to fill up the small side of our okay. jigger. Yeah, okay. and you go one hit. And it's There's this one, one here? Yes, yes, okay, yeah. Perfect. And you go one hit. And you have... Oh, I'm doing mine, yeah. right? Oh, okay, yes. fine. So about too. 25 mils. Yeah. Oh. oh. It's all right. good. It's, it's, eager. Eager. it's always good. Yeah, yeah. A bit sweeter. All right, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> just one of those, yeah, Francesco? Yeah, just one of those. Amazing. And then we're going to do about um, 75 mils of pineapple juice. So we're oh, going to fill up the big these. side. Okay. All the way to the top. And then... The second round, we're going to fill it up to the Three line. Quarters. Yeah, exactly. Okay. You see the, Just the, the line, line there, is right. yeah, down in the middle. All right. That's perfect. Okay. Yes. No one gets a free pour here. Uh, you know, straight yeah, to the that measurements, that right? Yes. Yeah. Now, exactly. amazing. Well, we, as I mentioned in our intro, you know, we're seeing across the industry digital identity taking hold, but decentralized finances. You know, where do you guys come in and help these institutions really grapple with the changing technologies, but also the changing crisis when it comes to you know, fraud and, and everything like that? Well, look, having you know, digital identity is the gateway to having access to the services that you want and making sure that you are verifying your customers in the right way not only gives them, in an, in an easy use experience, not only gives them access to those services easily when they want it, yeah. but it makes sure that the business is protected against that fraud and that you've got no bad actors coming into your system. So it's essential that you do KYC from a regulation point of view. You stop them right in the financial services. Yeah. And then as those use cases expand beyond financial services, uh, we're seeing the need to do that to get to know your customer better. Because right? then you can provide better quality services, yeah. help them to access their accounts and get all the things that they need. So it's exploding and it's beyond financial services and it's helping everybody. I love that. You know, it, it's just from the very offset, you can start adding value add as we go into this embedded finance journey. And that sounds really exciting. Yeah. And make the journey easier and then give people an easy way to buy and access those financial services whenever they want them on their device, hopefully. Perfect. Right. Yeah. Well, let's find out how to make a passion fruit martini whenever we want. So, uh, okay. yeah, Francesco, take it so away. So now, of course, um, uh, the very last ingredient is actually the most important ingredient, which is like the star of the whole drink, ah. which is a couple of squeezes of our passion fruit puree just right there. <laughs> <laughs> A um, little promo. I mean, this looks yeah. pretty intense. I'm not going to lie. Uh, wow, and All it's natural. the colour. Yeah, so how much of this? Just a couple of squeezes. A couple of squeezes, yeah. right? Yeah. Oh, that's, I'm missing that's, as well. That's right? good. That's good. There we go. Nice. Good. Far, far. Yes. Good. I think mine is going to be quite hearty. <laughs> um, <laughs> might be sweet. Yeah. I went yeah, over no, the line I'm a few times. I'm hundred percent sure it's going to be good. Okay. Good, 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 good. Good. And now we're going to go into the shaky part. Okay. So we're going to ice up our tin full of ice all the way to the top. And then jam it on. Oof. Then how we want to grab it? Basically, we want to have the small side of the tin facing us. A hand at the bottom, a hand on the top, and then shake Great. as hard as you can. Okay. Yes. So get a little bit of a... Yeah, can, can you flip it up? Can you spin around? <laughs> oh, I don't know. It's pressure. <laughs> right, yeah, 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 that's good, that's good. Then to open it up, we're going to hit the bottom tin a tiny bit. Woo! Good. Look at that. Yes. And then with our strainer, we're going to strain all of it. 
into the glass. Yes. Nice. Oh, yeah. Look, I've been doing this for a day now. You I'm already... you. You've changed me, Francesco. I'm a changed man. <laughs> right. So we've asked about you know where the industry has been changing. But let's talk about OCR. You know what you guys are going to be changing in that dynamic industry. What's next for you guys? So look, we've been really positive about automation, right? Yeah. So automation is coming everywhere in businesses, and we have an industry that's generally relied on a combination of technology, yeah. did an okay job, and people. Now we love people, mm -hmm. but uh, we want people to do the most critical jobs and we want technology to do the heavy lifting, right? There we go. So yeah. we continue to invest in our own machine learning, neural networks, and AI, and make sure that we can deliver the best technology to anyone, anywhere, at any time around the world. And if we continue to do that, banks and institutions will be happier, and financial institutions and all customers. And at the end, we want great user experiences for the users. So if we can do that and continue innovating, I think there's a great future for us and for the industry. Perfect. And just before we garnish, yes. you know, we're here today at FinTech Talents, and you talked about you know, enabling these banks to do heavy lifting without you know, encumbering their workforce with manual laborious tasks. You know, what's it like being at FinTech Talents this year? What's caught your eye? What do you love about this event? I just love being back in person, right? So I think we've all missed having this kind of interaction, doing fun stuff together, working with new people, yeah. and uh, and meeting again and getting business going. So look, there's huge innovation. It's good that we're all talking about the difficult topics. And hopefully we'll go away invigorated you know, to our businesses and bring that back to the work we do. I love it. Well, Francesco, let's take it away with a flourish. Just garnish it with a beautiful little bill. Passion fruit. Beautiful. You do you have some on your side too, Doc? Nice. Yeah, nice. Put the other way around. <laughs> now I'm going to go rogue and dump, you mine. dump it straight in. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Like a corrupt smile. Yeah. There you go. And there we go. Right. Now I think that is that's it. Cheers. Oh, yeah. Right. Thank you very much. Cheers, Cheers guys. Cheers, Cheers guys. To you. Thank, Thank you, you. Francesco. Thank you. That is delicious. Ooh. Wow. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yes. Hits the spot. Right, now Perfect. I've got to say thank you so much, Ross. It's been an thank absolute you. pleasure hearing Appreciate about OCR Labs. And also, Francesco, thank Francesco, you for telling us about the you. your skills. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. And a big much. thank you to you, our viewers. You can catch the rest of the series and much more over at ffnews.com and, of course, YouTube, but especially LinkedIn, where I'm sure you'll see Russ and me and Francesco in the comments. Guys, thank you very much and goodbye. Yeah.